grocery tasting show, cooking show. We are live with none other than the Janet Greta. And we are, we have such an incredible show for you today. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, hi, my name is Neha. I am the founder and owner of Switch Grocery. We're a low-carb grocery store. We call ourselves your friendly neighborhood low-carb grocery store. Um, and we go live every Tuesday and we make something, we cook something, we taste something. It's a little bit of a disaster some days. Um, but today I'm brave enough to be actually cooking two holiday recipes. So we're going to be making cake pops low carb sugar free cake pops and we're going to be making fat bombs that are um strawberry we were going to try for eggnog flavor but i didn't have that at home so we're going with strawberry but you can make this mix and match this with any flavor so we're going to be making two holiday recipes i've never made them before this is janet's idea <laughs> and um introducing janet janet is a okay i can do this janet is a content creator a youtuber a low carb recipe creator um someone who shares her journey her keto and low carb journey authentically openly and honestly um and she has an etsy channel and she has a uh, website called keto coach janetgrata.com janet did i get that right and <laughs> and she is here cindy says hi um, Amanda's here, says hi, and Lisa's here, hi Lisa. Um, and we're saying hi to Janet's YouTube channel, we're saying hi to my YouTube channel, Switch Grocery, we're on Facebook, today we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, um, Shalini says hi, and you guys, we have a slight technical issue, um, and hopefully I, I did Janet's intro totally fine, but Janet, Janet's volume, um, Mike is not working currently, so she will be supervising me, AKA silently, <laughs> but she is working on it. She'll be typing in the chat um, and she's working on getting her mic working, but you know what? We can do this. Like this is now a bigger challenge for me because <laughs> I have to make Janet's <laughs> recipes <laughs> silently. Like, oh my gosh, do you guys understand? Why do I do this? Why do I sign up for these things? <laughs> I don't know why I sign up for these things. Lori says, hi, Janet. It's so good to see you. You guys, we've been prepping for the show. This is the Switch Grocery Janet Greta Holiday Live. Um, may I welcome you? Also, it is also our 40th episode. So we are ending the year with 40 episodes in the bag. And it's funny, on the first show, if we had sound problems, I would just be like, oh my gosh. However, however, this is the 40th show, so shit happens and we roll with the punches and we have a good time. Oh, Lori <laughs> says her mic is frozen as it is cold, cold, cold there. Okay, <laughs> Janet just said it's so cold. Janet, can you tell everybody, type in the chat, where you're from? Because um, Keto Mom Canada Amanda saying, hey, it's really nice to meet you. Um, yeah, so that's, so that's how it's gonna go. We have some wonderful questions for Janet. So um, I will share with you what they are. We may have to bring her back on the show if her mic doesn't work, but otherwise Janet's gonna watch us make two recipes. So if you know the format of our weekly show, um, yeah, <laughs> it was minus 49 today. Wow, that is cold. And Kimberly says very cold in Burnaby too. We got over a foot of snow last night. Hi, Janet. Oh man, is this real? Okay, hold on guys. Let me bring the, will the real Janet Greta please stand up? Hold on, hold on. Can Janet, you hear me? Yes, <laughs> wait, there's a little bit of an echo but I think I need to just mute you everywhere else. Can you hear me? I can hear you, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Okay. Can everyone hear Janet? We need a yes, we need like a heart. We need some jump. Yes. We need yes. all the <laughs> drop it in the chat if you can hear both of us. Yes! Woo. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. 40th episode. And I was like, Janet, I have such good questions for you. You guys, I have spent I spent the weekend and Brian, because my partner, he was watching, but I spent the weekend watching Janet's videos. 
and coming up with questions. So I have the best questions. Oh, yay. I'm so glad that that worked. I, you know what, one thing, as I'm sure you know, is being your own business owner is you literally have to know everything and you have to become your own problem solver. Like it, it's crazy, but I'm so glad we got it. I'm so glad we got it. Okay. So people are saying I'm muffled. Um, oh, no. Am I muffled or am I clear to you, Janet? You're clear to me. Okay, so if someone else can confirm that I am not muffled because I can switch over my mic to the laptop if I need to do it. I can do everything. I'm here. I'm yours, you guys, today. I'm yours. Yes, you sound good to me. Maybe just because okay. we were so excited because we got it working. Yeah. Hi, Hi. Okay, Janet, I don't know if I did justice to your intro, so can you, you tell did. us? Did I do justice? You did. You did so good. Yay. Um, did I miss anything? How do you do all these things? Like, tell us about you. Do you like just do the world? Just lots of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> lots, of, lots of coffee. I drink a lot of coffee throughout my day. And, you know, I'm working more now than I did at my nine to five job. But I actually love what I do now. And I think that's what makes the world a difference. And when you love what you're doing, time isn't of the essence. You know, you just kind of have to schedule it, do all your planning and just get it all done there. It's been very, very hectic. I think, as everybody can probably imagine during the Christmas season, Everybody has their to-do list to cross off and we just got to go one by one. <laughs> You're so right. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, and happy birthday. Did we miss your birthday? Yeah, no, it was my birthday on the 17th. Thank you so yes! much. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank, you. I'm, Thank you. I'm really sorry. Somebody, people, Jane is saying that I'm, Jan is saying that I'm muffled still and Chris is saying I'm muffled. And I'm really scared to change my mic right now <laughs> because we're working. So I hope it's okay that I'm a little bit muffled. Don't jinx um, it. Keep me posted. And um, hopefully you can still get the vibe. Yeah. Um, happy belated birthday. Cindy says happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Amazing. Oh, so, sorry, go ahead. I, I was just seeing, I was seeing Lori's comment. Lori said, the kids, our kids just live down the highway from Janet in Brooks. Oh my God, Brooks is like 45 minutes from me. Main yes. shop all done in Medicine Hat. Yay. You know, we always see orders from Medicine Hat and I think of you. Yeah, I'm like about 20 minutes outside of Medicine Hat. So, you know, we're kind of in our own like little hamlet is what I call it. Cause there's probably about two, 200 people that live here. So to yeah. try to explain what I do for a living, they're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what do you do? Yeah. What are you? What are you? Exactly. YouTube? What is yeah. that? that? Yeah. <laughs> it's much. Oh. It's much better than what I used to do. Well, the mechanics, because I used to work at the mechanics, and it wasn't a bad job, but it was just getting overwhelming doing everything else, which Neha, I'm sure you can totally relate to, and it's just a lot on your plate. Plus, you have a child. Like that's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the day. <laughs> yeah. Some days are smooth sailing, and some days I'm just like, what did I get myself into? Yeah, so exactly. you, got, you might hear a little bit of screaming in the background. That's okay. Totally normal. <laughs> that's, that's totally okay. But he, they're having fun upstairs in the back. Um, okay, well, how do so we're gonna do the format of our show today is we're making cake pops. <gasps> I've never made this before. They're so we're making, good. We're making fat bombs, and it's gonna be really interesting because I don't have all the proper ingredients, I don't have like the sticks for the cake pops, but we're gonna. The best part about these shows is we do the best we can with what we have. Absolutely. Right? That's how that's how we do it. And we get to ask Janet some questions along the way. So I was thinking, mm -hmm. Janet, we'll get started with the first recipe. Okay. And then we can switch to questions. And our questions, if you're joining now, we're going to be going through Janet's health journey. We're going to be talking about her holiday philosophy, especially this holiday. We're talking about cooking her top tips, her top Top tip, top tip, top tip for cooking. And then we're going to actually end off with talking about just her overall journey, New Year's resolutions, 2023. I saw a vision board from 2022, which has come true. So I just want to ask all about it. Yeah. Um, and by the end of it, we'll have fat, protein fat bombs and cake pops. Hopefully. Yum. Yum. <laughs> so oh, let's, sorry, go ahead, Janet. I want to come over to your place. Is that possible? Yes. <laughs> 
please come over to my place anytime. Like I literally anytime. It's messy. Um, <laughs> but you're so I would like love to have you. I think we would chat all night. We would I know. Chat all night. That's what we were talking about. I think for today's live, we were kind of thinking of ideas and what to talk about. I'm like, I don't think there'll be a problem with, with conversation. <laughs> Not with me anyways. I can just talk literally forever. <laughs> You're amazing. That's why I think that's why so many people like your YouTube, like even just spending um, some time watching it on the weekend. Like I always have it on in the car when you release a new episode. But actually yeah. watching a, some of yours from a year ago, from six months ago, from three months ago to today, it's really interesting because I watched like one from each era, as you can yeah. call it. And it's just a really interesting watching your health journey. So maybe, you know what, let's start with that because we just brought it up. Sure, <laughs> um, yeah. Where are you at in your health journey today versus like a year and a half ago? Yeah. So um, I, when I started keto, that was probably about three years ago, I want to say I started my YouTube channel when I hit my goal weight, because it was COVID, we were going through all of that. We weren't doing anything, our hours got cut down. And my brother came to visit from the West Coast. And I still remember it, we were sitting on the deck. And I said, I really wanted to start a YouTube channel. I've always wanted to start a channel. And he said, Well, why don't why don't you do it now? You have the time, why not just do it? And I thought, well, I don't know, I'm kind of like, I'm at my goal weight, like, what's the point of like, even doing a weight loss channel now when I'm already done all the work, and I'm at my my goal. And he said, you have a lot of like, tips to share with people, and what you've gone through. And like a story to share. So that is when I started my YouTube channel. And so I was at my goal weight. And then it's been kind of like a bumpy road since then. And I was really fixated on keto uh, at that time, because I hit my goal weight, I was really scared to death of gaining weight back and going back to 240 pounds, because that was the weight when I started. And so for about a year, I was consistent, I stayed the keto path, did the keto treats. And then last year, I really struggled, I had gained 20 pounds. And I really struggled the whole entire year with keto. And same with this year, it was kind of like, I did the protein sparing modified fasting last year, and I found results. But it's just that for me wasn't sustainable, right. Mm -hmm. And so this year, once again, I found kind of like a bumpy road. And now I'm just kind of taking it as it comes, you know, in as far as my diet, I've gone low carb, instead of being so strict on myself with keto, and just kind of learning more about myself and my tolerances and really enjoying situations, birthdays, you know, Christmas, Easter, all of those holidays to kind of be a yeah. little bit more lenient, rather than being so fixated on the number the scale how I look, what size, and just kind of going on learning from that whole process, not to get to a certain size or weight. And then, you know, you're not even nothing's fixed up here, right? You're just going through. The so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, things can change, you know, in the new year, next year, you know, Obviously, for everybody, it's the same sort of scenario. We don't know where we're going to be in a year from now, but um, things that's one thing the last two years have taught us. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's just learning with change. And I think that goes for your your own body and your own self. Like I might be doing something totally different in six months, you know, and that was another reason why I named my channel my first and middle name. So my first name is Janet and then my middle name is Greta. And I thought I didn't want to be tied down to one thing, right? Yeah. So I kind of left it with just my first and middle name thinking that maybe one day, I might veer from keto, right? So yeah, so that's kind of like my short story long. <laughs> I I love it. And I like the I like the because I mean, switch grocery started when keto wasn't even around. It was five years ago. So we were mm -hmm. just like, what's the what what's the keto pizza crust? What's cauliflower? All of these things. And it's really interesting because we see people all the time who come to our store who are, you know, five years back, either rediscovering, either kind of returning or going off and going off, coming back or like changing to, honestly, maybe gluten free or changing to other ways and then going back. Like there's, it's really interesting and it's making me really realize 
um, something that you said was you have to do what's good for you in the moment. Mm -hmm. And you said that in your latest video, you said, this is good for me right now. It may not be good for you. And I think that's really respectful, right? Like we're all just at different places in our journey. And it's, it's, I love that your channel is so respectful of that, of just yeah. this, this is where I'm at right now. And I may not be here or I may be back. Like it just depends. Yeah. And I feel like nobody should dictate what you, you should and shouldn't do anyways. You know, I'm just, I'm just doing what I am doing. I can, I always say I can't be anybody else because I am myself. I'm Janet. I am who I am. I can't be anybody else. And this is just what I am doing. And everybody has that choice to do what they want to do, you know, whether they even just come to my channel for vlogs or to see Jimmy or right. whatever the case is, right? Like everybody can do what they want to do. And some people I know don't follow me because of keto. Like they, they follow me for other reasons. Right. And I, yeah. I think that's wonderful. That's great. Jimmy's the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Let's face that's it. That's why people watch is because of Jimmy. I want to meet Jimmy because Jimmy's the real deal. That's He's all so I'm going to say. I wrote down no questions about Jimmy, and then I just wrote Jimmy real deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jimmy equals real deal. So that's all I'll say about Jimmy. But you can, if you want, go back and watch Janet's YouTube channel, and you'll hear all about Jimmy. And yeah, he's in his, a couple of videos too. He's funny. He's so funny. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll switch over to a recipe. Yeah, let's get started. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm postponing this because I'm scared. <laughs> It's literally such so a simple scary. recipe. Both so of the scary. recipes are so simple. That, okay. That, yes, you can do it. Okay. okay, I can do this. So the first recipe, and you can go find it on our site, is the strawberry fat bombs. You can make eggnog fat bombs. We're out of stock of eggnog. I'm sorry, guys. We just are. But if it's in your pantry, if you have keto chow, and if you have eggnog, any flavor. So you can make chocolate, keto, chocolate mint fat bombs. I was just going to um, say. Pretty much anything. Um, yeah. And so I'm going to walk through the recipe and then I'm going to show you all the ingredients. Ooh, okay. I'm going to put you in the corner. Okay. okay. <laughs> Janet's, little, Janet's little and in the corner. Okay. So let me just lower. Is this, can you see everything? Oh yes. yeah. Look at you. Okay. That's what I was trying to set up. So I have everything. So I'm going to put, I'm gonna put the cake pop things to the side just to show you how easy this is. So what you're going to need is you're going to need half a cup of coconut oil melted and half a cup of unsalted butter melted. My wonderful life partner is, has done this for us already. <laughs> you're, going to, you're going to need, so strawberries are keto chow flavor of the week, which I love because I'm just like, it's a great, great versatile flavor. And you can mix it with a lot of things like banana. Um, some people mix it with chocolate, which I find really interesting. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure I would do that, but you know what? To each their own. Um, so we have a serving of the strawberry keto chow. Um, and if you don't know keto chow, it's a meal replacement. Janet's done a bunch of recipes with it on her channel. Yes. And yes. then we also have half a teaspoon of the origin vanilla extract. You guys, I can do this. Yes. Right? <laughs> I can do this. And then it's pretty easy because you just need um, a tablespoon of of heavy cream. So we're gonna mix all of this in. I hope this is like not cool down. Nope, it's good, it's good, it's good. And that's Perfect. so good. It contains so much like fat content to keep you full if you're going straight, like if you're doing keto over the holidays, this is a great recipe to have on your little platter of all of the sugary treats. And then you can have this for yourself and you can stay on plan. There's been many, I wanna say that there's been many holidays, not just Christmas, that I have stayed keto because I was was so fixated and focused that I stayed keto. And these recipes that we're sharing today are perfect for that. I, I love that. And you know what? It's so funny. When I first saw it, I was like, no, 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 I can't make this. But while prepping, this is actually not bad at all. It's four, anyway, ing it's five ingredients. I was just gonna say anything five ingredients or less is can be done. It can be done. Yeah, for sure. And I'm going to show you something very cool because we're actually going to order new frothers for Switch, which I'm excited Ooh. about. I'm going to try, try to, if it works here. So I put in everything. So I put in the half cup coconut oil melted, the unsalted butter melted, um, heavy cream. Um, and then I'm just going to mix this up and I'm going to try something. So we're going to be ordering frothers for Switch, but I want them to be really powerful. <laughs> 
Yes. So I'm just going to see. I have a whisk, but I'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, you know what, guys? We won't order the frothers. So that'll be <laughs> how it is. But it kind of has like three speeds. Oh, I, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's like one speed. Then you click it, it has two speeds. And then you click well, it, it has three works, speeds. That works good. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to basically. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can see it, you guys. This is amazing. It's working. It's working. That's that's much easier than hauling out your hand beater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one of those. Neither do I, but I have it on my Christmas list because there's some recipes where I feel like I just need it so I don't have to bring out my big, heavy kitchen made mixer. <laughs> right. Guys, do you guys have watching? Do you guys have like a hand mixer or is that kind of like oh. top? Oh, <laughs> is that top? Okay. Hey, at least it's not the fire alarm this time, so that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Do you guys have a hand mixer that are watching, or is that a little bit like taboo now? Do people yeah, still? Yeah, please tell us if you have a hand mixer and if it's worth yeah. it. Like, you know what? Yeah. Don't just tell us if you have a hand mixer. Tell us if it's a worthy investment and worthy of taking oh. up your space yeah. on your countertop. <laughs> the one that I seen at, um, it was on Amazon, and it's a handheld one. Like, it doesn't have Ooh. a Yeah. And I was like, ooh, add to wish list. <laughs> Just okay, like you were using on works. a heavier scale. Ooh, that's perfect. Right? It works. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, I was nervous about this one and it's easy. <laughs> like, this makes me oh, so happy. Somebody said that they just received that frother today. Ooh, do you Amazing. like it? Yeah, oh, nice. One sec. You've got this. You've got this. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. I think that's Karen Bradley. Karen Bradley's amazing. Like oh, yeah. Fun. Okay, so we we have Cindy, who is a hand mixer. Do you want to read the comments? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Kimberly, hi, Kimberly. I'm glad you're here. I have a hand mixer, and we have a stick blender as well. The roommates and I share kitchen tools. I have one of those immerse blenders as well, and it actually works really, really good. I do like that. And I think the hand mixer will come handy, so... That's good. And then Cindy, uh, Cindy says she has also has a hand mixer. Thanks for being here, Cindy, by the way. I recognize all of these names from my YouTube channel. So thank you so much that. for being here. Um, she does have a hand mixer and gets a good use out of it. Also have the Emerge Blender. Yeah. And of course, a stand mixer. I think that's pretty common, actually, to have three of them. So I don't think it's that bad on, like, to have on my Christmas list, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you're also a YouTuber, so I feel like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I can use sense. it. I can use it. Uh, the other uh, question I have is, yeah. do you have an air fryer? I do have an air fryer and it is, it is what they, everybody says it's the best thing ever. And it is the best thing ever. I swear. It is so good. Um, we bought it. We, we had a, uh, I forget what the brand was, but it crapped out like really early on. And I was like, no, next time I get one, I am going to like pay, like get what I pay for type of deal. Right. Yeah, so we yeah. got, the, yeah, I got the Consori one and it has been amazing. We use it all the time, all of the time. It is great. I, I love that. Um, I'm going to look over. Oh, wait. Lori says she has the frother, emotional, yeah, <laughs> Vitamix. Oh, I wish I had a Vitamix, actually. Oh, my uh, gosh. I says, have a Vitamix, and you need it, Janet. Yeah, I know I do. That's kind of like the Instant Pot. I still don't have an Instant Pot. Really? No. I should have put that on my Christmas list, too. Lisa says, I don't keep cream on hand. Is it necessary or can I substitute with something else? I think so, because it's only a tablespoon. Okay. Which would you, I don't, what, would you, what would you substitute it with? Uh, I don't know if water would work. I probably would do nut milk, because I think there is some purpose of, you know, making it thicker yeah. or something like that. Like, I'm not an expert. Or just any Probably any sort of milk, right? Yeah. Yeah, would I would do that. Work. Or yeah. coconut cream would be delicious. That so would be That would give it a nice creamy texture. Sometimes in Keto Child Show You, we've used um, this this brand called Chaz Organic. So this oh, is, yeah. for anybody who's dairy free, this is a heavy whipping cream, which is like, I ordered five of these to have on hand for the holidays. And then where this do you is order, like- Where do you order them from? 
I get them ooh, I get them in local stores, but to be oh. honest, I kind of also like to support them because they're Canadian, yeah. they're Quebec. Um, oh, sure. And they're, um, they, all coconut cream comes from Sri Lanka and they pay farmers fairly and it's a really good price. So yeah. I, order, I sign up to their newsletter and then they'll have sales like once a quarter and then I'll order, um, you know, 12 of the full cream and like six yeah. of the whipping cream or something like that. That's great. All right, we have some more comments here. Let me read them. Yeah. Um, Kimberly said to check the shopping channel. They have some good deals on the Vitamix all the time. I definitely will do that. Uh, Lisa says maybe coconut cream. Right. Mm, yep. Would yep. Definitely probably work. It would give it a nice texture, I believe, for that. And then the next question is from Chris. I have an instant pot and an air fryer. Use them both a lot. Yes. I, my air fryer, I don't think I could live without my air fryer now. If you were to take away all my appliances and ask me which one I would keep. Interesting. It would be a toss up between the coffee maker and my air fryer. Okay, Chris, can you also drop in the chat, like, what do you make with the air fryer? Because I'm so curious I as to what everything. you make. Every, you can make every, do you not, do you not have one? No. I don't oh have my one. God. I've been fighting you guys. I'm in a Toronto townhouse with literally the sh all the shelf space is being used for this live. The counter yeah, space. I, I know. <laughs> this is my counter space, you guys. The other counter yeah. space has the Vitamix, the Instant Pot, which is making bone broth right now, and like a, a bunch of things. I get it yeah. for sure. I hate having a whole bunch of appliances on my counter as well too. But they are you literally can make anything in the air fryer. I cooked. Okay. Tell me in the comments, you guys, if you have made this and tell me your thoughts. Uh, I only make my roast chickens in the air fryer. Amazing. Wow. Yes. Like they are, I will never make bacon in the oven again. It is, it is the best in the air fryer, hands down. I will never make it in the oven again. This is so interesting. Um, oh, friends tell me the Ninja Blender is way better, Janet. I have an old Ninja Blender. Yeah. And it works pretty good. If you would have seen one of my episodes, I actually forgot to put the lid on. <laughs> and I <laughs> had them high. <laughs> I can only imagine. I got it all um, on my cards. One sec. I'm just going. Oh, this is so interesting. Yeah. Um, I make... Rut oh, I think it's the celery Ruta root fries. Rutabagger, yeah, like turnip Ruta fries. Bagger. Yeah. Oh, is there turnip fries? Okay, turnip got it. Butterfly yeah. drumstick, drumstick in the air fryer. Neha, we're gonna have you by the end of this. You are gonna be on Amazon <laughs> ordering on the air fryer. I'm not doing this, you guys. I'm not doing this. I refuse. <laughs> like, and I will show you. Like, like space. Look at that. Like, look at that. <laughs> And then that counter space has like knives and the coffee machine and Mason's fruit bowl. And then that has the oven. So basically it's just okay, this oven, counter space. The toaster oven is a, is a thing of the past. <laughs> thing of the past. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have a microwave because our microwave broke. And so I don't have, I don't order. I you just can, forgot. You can make toast in the air fryer too. I could do that. Oh, uh, Shalini says you can also make salmon bites um, yeah. in the air fryer. That sounds delicious. This is I mean, my jam, the Vitamix. Yeah, I know a lot of people say the Vitamix, but uh, the it's the price tag. I'll be honest, it's the price yeah. tag. It's a, it's a heavy price. We went on a payment plan. <laughs> That's how my partner convinced me because he was like, "Just go. On, let's go to a payment plan. Look, it's not that expensive." Yeah. Um, we're done, you guys. Like oh. this one. Delicious. It made um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 22 little fat bombs. And so, what I'm going to do is put them in the freezer right now. So we can actually taste test them. Well, Jana can't, but <laughs> that was way easier than I expected. Right? So easy. Way and easier. The butter makes all the difference in that recipe too. It is delicious. So good. Is there so many fat bomb recipes that use cream cheese usually? Yeah. And the butter is really, really good. Okay. Amazing. Like it's, yeah. it's so good to know that. So we have um, time for another question. And I guess the question was, 
if you have followed, because you followed low carbon keto for a while. Yes. Right. So I, I, I would love your kind of top three tips and learnings or what did you find that made it easier for you? So when I started, it was really new to me because I have never heard of keto and I didn't know anybody that was doing keto, following it, lost weight, et cetera. And so it was really new to me. So I learned through YouTube, through other YouTubers right. and I did my research online and it was at the point where I just like enough was enough. I needed something to work because I was on two different medications for my blood pressure at that time. And I needed something that was like going to be like, I don't want to say like a quick fix, but it was going to be working right away and that I wouldn't feel hungry. And that was the one thing with keto that I learned is that following the ketogenic lifestyle, it kind of takes away your hunger cues. So you're not as hungry as maybe if you were really counting your macros or following calories with right. the American standard diet. So that was definitely one thing for me that, I recommend to people is to follow the clean keto when you're first starting, research it, research it for months, six months, right. however long, don't just do a crash diet and, you know, think you're just going to eat chicken wings every day, yeah. but it doesn't no, work. no, it doesn't work. Cause you have to really implement a lot of like you, everybody wants variety, right? Everybody yeah. wants variety and they want to feel full and, you know, definitely eating a clean keto is probably my, my number one tip for that. And also do it for yourself, right? Another, like just with any sort of weight loss, you need to do it for yourself. I have literally carboholics in my household and sweetaholics that my pantry is full, right? But I have my little shelf with all of my, my keto chow and everything that I like to have while following a low carb keto diet to keep me on track because that's all that matters is what I'm doing. I'm the one that's like eating. Nobody else is like shoving my face of food. You're in control. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, you are. Um, yeah. Where do you see yourself two years from now? This was a really interesting question. Or where do you see yourself going yeah. on your health journey two years from now? I, I'm getting, as, as days and months carry on, I feel like I'm getting better with a relationship with food. And I have struggled with my food and food addiction since probably I left home at age 19. I'm 46 now, and that's a long time. And I really feel like incorporating now this low carb after being so like blindsided, like with the blinders on with keto, that I'm just learning more about myself and how to tolerate my feelings and emotions without turning to food. So in two years from now, I hope to have like a really good relationship with food. And I don't know where that will take me as far as like diet, but um, I definitely see an improvement with relationship with food. And I think that's huge. If anybody has suffered with, you know, weight loss, weight gain, you know, all their, their adult life or all their, their livelihood, it's a, it's very much a struggle mentally more so than just doing it. You know, anybody can, can do it. It's just that you have to fix your, you know, your mental relationship with food and, um, you know, how to deal with your emotions, your past trauma, all of these things kind of correspond with it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I, and I had a, um, a doctor that said something that was really helpful to me where he talked about sometimes you actually have to make a choice. And this is, again, trigger warning for some people. Um, but sometimes you have to make a choice where some people, keto is not good for them. You know, mm -hmm. if they have an eating disorder, that comes first. You know, so it's really interesting. I mean, I find that also as a low carb store, sometimes I'm more conscious of, am I spreading a message that's, um, you know, pushing, um, you know, women towards, um, you know, changing their body or whatever the case is. So it's interesting as for, for me, it's very important um, to have a message of being positive with your body. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, so I talk a lot about, like my last reel was about um, an endocrinologist labeled me as obese actually even though i work out twice a week i you know because i've gained weight um during the pandemic and after um but i work out twice a week i generally eat low carb i you know i'm probably doing way more than i did when i was a specific lower weight mm -hmm. so um just i try very hard to be 
even in my own house. And I tell Brian this all the time that sometimes you always say, oh, I don't like the way I look in that photo. And I try to, you know, I always say you're responsible for your first thought, but not your, but you're not responsible for your first thought, but you are responsible for your second thought. Yeah. So you can retrain or try to retrain and say, hey, I like the way I look. I like my hair. I like my, I don't know, my breasts. I like my, whatever. I like my body. I like the way, you know, I like my arms today or whatever the case is. So I try very hard to make this a body positive store. And then mm -hmm. also I try very hard to say, you know, for example, like there are some of our customers who have struggled all their life with insulin resistance and they're trying, they're just like, I have to eat low carb to take care of my health. Yeah. So I try very hard to kind of, yeah, whatever the in-between is, and I know we're not for everybody, obviously, right? Yeah. <laughs> but and, I try to find the in-between. Yeah, and I agree, like, especially with health concerns, like that takes precedent over a lot of things. And that was one thing that I explained on my channel when, you know, I did quit keto, right? right? And kind of turned to more of a lower carb. And that I don't have underlying diabetes. I don't have, you know, a lot of these things that I did keto for I did keto for weight loss. And that was literally right. the only thing. And as far as like a lot, a lot of things did vanish because of my weight loss. Now, whether that's relevant with keto, who knows, right? Like as yeah. far as my, my blood pressure pills, my asthma getting better, like those sort of things could have happened just generally with weight loss following any other protocol. It's just that, you know, it just because it went away because I was doing the keto. But highly, if you have health concerns, you definitely, definitely have to, to do, do what you need to do with that for right. sure. You need, for sure. Um, yeah. Definitely need to do what you have to do with that. Um, yeah. What's your holiday? Okay, wait, so let me start. I'm getting so excited to talk to you. This is so exciting. I'll start mixing the cake, but then I'm going to come back to a question. Um, Kimberly says, I'm 10 years older than Janet and keto stopped working for me. So I'm looking at carb cycling right now and adding exercise. Yay, go Kimberly. So higher carbs for weight training days, lower carb for rest days. That's amazing. That's so good. And, you know, there is, I don't want to say a lot of YouTubers, but there is a handful of YouTubers that have gone that way and did keto. Keto wasn't working for me. That was me for a year. You know, I, I know. tried every I saw on your channel, you know, and you know, a lot of people are like, well, don't give up and you need to do this and you need to do that. I've been trying for a year I, and nothing I, is I, happening. Right. Go watch Janet's videos. It's insane. The amount yeah. of things you've tried and how consistent you are. Yeah. It's almost like research. It's been interesting to watch you try something for like two weeks and then yeah. be like, oh, this is the result. Yeah. And I think I always resort back to like the meaning of insanity is trying things over and over again, expecting a different result. And that was to right. the point where I was at. And I was seeing other YouTubers switch from the keto going to exercise and, you know, alternating carb days and all of these things and not saying that would work for me, but it's not saying it wouldn't work for me. Right. You know, you right. gotta try. I feel like every diet that we've all tried, we've never stayed at just one for our whole ent adult, entire adult life. Right. I don't think probably one person watching that is say, I have started Weight Watchers in 1985 and I'm still doing it. <laughs> yeah for sure right so you know you got to change it up yeah and i think it, it it also depends on where you're i'm just checking i'm putting on a double boiler which i never knew what it was but now I do. <laughs> um but it also depends on what stage of life you're at so um wow. it did so it so my uh partner and i have we've just decided now we've just said hey we're gonna do our best mm -hmm. that means we work out twice a week we don't we do our best not to miss the workout it just makes our body feel good we do our best both like I wear freestyle library to track my blood sugars, but I take breaks because when I wear it, it's too, I get so fixated on it. So I'll do like two weeks on two weeks off. Um, but right now our focus, oh, it's hard to say this, but it's not weight loss. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was putting so much pressure on myself this year because it was just so, I was just like, oh my God, I have, like, I have to. And mm -hmm. it was getting to the point where I went to the internal chronologist and I said, I'm, but I'm doing everything. Yeah. I'm doing everything. I fast. I extended fast. I do. <laughs> I'm doing yeah. everything. And then there's one cold in the house and everything goes to shit. There's yeah. one sleep, 
sleepless night and everything goes to shit. And we just say, you know, we have a young kid, so we have to go easy on ourselves. And we, but we're also not going to be like, well, it's just a free for all. No, <laughs> right? Exactly. We're, yeah. Because moving my body just makes me feel really good. Um, and I'm not saying I don't want to lose weight. I'd love to, but I'm just also trying to like make, you know, you said on your YouTube channel too, right? Like it's also about managing stress and there's so many moving parts at various times. And there's so much more, like there's so much more to, than weight loss, right? Like I've said before, there's been times in my life that that's all that mattered was weight loss. That's it. That was the end all yeah. be all. Like Jimmy could be in the hospital and I would be like, I got to take my food with me and like m measure out my portions and take it with me to the hospital. Like I, I don't want to be like that right now. I do, like you have said, stress levels, Jimmy's surgery in the new year, you yeah, know, with what I'm going through right now um, with health wise. And you know, there's just so much more of a priority rather than weight loss. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's just a little, just being a little bit, a little bit more lenient at this time of year right now during the situation. Yeah. I, and I love the grace. I think Janet, the grace that you're giving yourself when I mm -hmm. watch your videos and you're like, I'm doing this for me. I think sometimes like today I was like, Oh, cause you were like, Oh, if you don't want to watch it, you can go away. But I think most people want to stay because if you're if we watch you give yourself grace, then we are going to give ourselves grace, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. I'm like, oh, Janet's giving herself grace. Like even right now, I almost like teared up when I said I'm not like I'm not losing weight, or an endocrinologist called me a beast. It hurts. So it's like mm -hmm. I'm trying all these things, but when you're when I watch you give yourself grace, and you know, some of everybody uh, is. I'm going to read the comments right now because they're wonderful. Maybe if we can all give ourselves grace going mm -hmm. into 2023, that's a great. I love that. I I love the word. I um, figured out a word for 2023 going into the year, and it is going to be flexible. That is going to be my word of the year. It's going to be flexible, and it's going to be in all aspects of my life. So I love that because I feel, you know, sometimes you lose that flexibility. Like I just said, you know, being so put the blinders on and being so focused instead of being a little bit more flexible when plans change, right? When life situations change, your kid gets sick, you know, your husband's in the hospital or in an accident or something like that, like things just change and you need to be flexible. Yeah, absolutely yeah. love that. Um, Kimberly says, yes, for sure. And I have the weight comes off. Great. I think, I just think rather than resolutions for new year, it's goals for new year. For me, it's establishing a routine I can stick to. I love that. And the routine gives you momentum, right? I love that. Yeah, I've always said for resolutions, I think goals are so much more important. I, I, I love that. Uh, and Lisa says health is more important than weight loss. Weight loss is a bonus. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to like screenshot this right now because we need a photo of you and I anyway. And I just want to screenshot <laughs> what Lisa said because it's beautiful. There you go. Now we've a speech off. Um, it's just so beautiful. Yes, yeah. for sure, Neha. Um, okay, sorry, I just did that already. Yeah, oh, that and then Shalini says, same here, Neha. Postpartum has been extremely hard this year. Oh, yeah. Postpartum is so hard. It's so hard. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> forget about those times. Like, that is extremely hard to deal with how your body changes. Yes. It's great when to hear I, that from you, Janet. I think yeah. we all need to hear that. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's very it's hard. Reassuring. Uh, the first thing I know, oh yeah. Oh, the first thing I noticed when I started keto was my skin was clear. Wow. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of things beneficial for the keto. I would I would never put down keto as as a dietary choice or for following um, a, the keto diet. Absolutely. There is a lot of things that improved for inflammation for one, like I've, I've never had problem skin, but I have eczema. So my eczema flares up a little bit more with off keto foods, you know, right. um, there's so many benefits with keto and I would never bash keto whatsoever. I just think, you know, everybody has different times in their life and maybe in the new year or next summer, I will resort back to keto. I, I do love the foods. That was one thing that really drew me in was the foods, was the burgers, the cheese, the bacon, eggs. Give like, yes, give me all of it. <laughs> um, okay, I like this one. Keto oh. can help for hormonal issues, but for older women, it doesn't always work and I can't maintain it. Yeah. 
Gosh, you know, I have been going through um, some medical things. Like I had mentioned on my channel, I was diagnosed with endometriosis and yeah. it has been a struggle. And I still have a few appointments as far as an MRI and possibly um, a full surgically hysterectomy, which is, is very shocking and it's very uh, okay. stressful. And, um, you know, and that was another reason as well, too, because like I said, nothing was working in the year and it, it could be hormonal changes and stress levels. You know, towards the end of the year, I did have a lot of stress and um, I, I'm i going through that right now. I'm definitely going through the, the, the hormonal levels, the stress levels and just getting a year older. It's, it's definitely not helpful. It's not helpful with weight loss, right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Kimberly, for that. That's really sweet. Um, I have such I have such sweet subscribers. I am I know. Like I am so grateful for them. I love them so much. And you know, life is so so busy. But I just want you all to know if you're here, I appreciate you guys all so much. I really do. I know you do, Janet. <laughs> Oh, Cindy, lost 100 pounds. I knew, yeah, I remember um, hearing about your weight loss, Cindy, actually on Hope's channel. Uh, that's awesome. Good for you. She showed pictures of your weight loss. So great job. Awesome work. We love that. Oh. Ellen, oh. <laughs> Ellen, you're here. Nice. <laughs> I think that's Karen. I'm giving myself a break now for the holidays, just getting myself too down and depressed and stressed about weight loss. Yeah. That's when you know you need to give yourself a break. And like you said, give yourself grace. And, you know, even though every everything will pass, if you are struggling right now, I know there's a lot of people struggling during the holidays. Please reach out for help. There is so many people that are here to help. I have always been there. You can message me. You can email me if you are having a tough time this season, but especially with weight loss, um, it's time just to give yourself a little bit of a break when it feels overwhelming. Yeah, I yeah. completely, completely agree with that and the grace. Um, yeah. Kimberly also says that she's dealt with metabolic syndrome her whole adult life, no sign of diabetes, but blood pressure and other issues. And so carb cycling has mm. been a great idea. Oh, and she says, you're so welcome. We're friends like you always say. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, She's a welcome. Sorry, go she ahead. Has so, she has so much information, Kimberly, to share. She she really does her research. Yeah. Well, She's I love that you said, you know, one thing that you said at the beginning was everyone has a story to share. And that's one thing where I would say that all the people in this chat, if you're ever thinking of starting a YouTube channel or something, you have something to share, Go watch Janet's first video. Like, you know, it's so inspiring. Yeah. Um, and just, I think everyone can benefit from hearing a story and oh, it will reach sure. a person, you know? Yeah. And Kimberly, she just started her um, YouTube channel. Speaking of that, amazing, so Kimberly. I'll message you after. I'm so proud of you, Kimberly, that you have done that. That is awesome. It is, you know, it's so hard to start something. But then once you're in it, you're like, what was I so scared of? Like, you know, just <laughs> counts, right? your first time skiing or whatever it is, then you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. I actually really enjoy it. And I can honestly say I love YouTube. I love doing what I do and sharing the content that I do. And if you're thinking about doing anything, not even YouTube or anything in your life, just do yeah. it. You have nothing, nothing to lose. Thank you. That's like a... <laughs> And it comes to health too, right? If you're thinking of starting the gym, just do it. You've nothing to lose. Yes. Um, I am really postponing making the chocolate cake pop, but I'm going to do it. The hard part is already done. The cake is done. <laughs> yes, the cake is done. Um, I also like, you know what? We're going to do a second photo with Lori Olson because she just said, life is not a problem to be solved. Aww. It is meant to be enjoyed. I love that. I, I just love that. Um, okay, so let me put this down. So we're gonna make cake pops. I don't know who I am. <laughs> I literally don't. We have <laughs> chocolate snack cake by Goodies. You we are going to love these, by the way. Chocolate so. sprinkles. You know what? I love cake pops, and sometimes I buy them, and then I'm like, oh, so much sugar. So this is yeah. gonna be good. Right. We have, we have, I believe. Oh, interesting. We have. I already have the boiler on, and then we have. Coco Polo chocolate chips, which are back in stock and delicious. 
Perfect. So I'm happy about that. And yeah. that's a lot of stuff that we have. So <laughs> um, I'm just actually stirring because I don't, I think you just stir the chocolate in the boiler, right? Yes, just until it, it starts melting. Not okay. until it's completely melted because then it'll burn. <laughs> Trust me, I've learned from experience. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. No, I can I can do this. Okay, um, we almost lost last, um, a, chill, a tip for anybody watching. Double boilers, last two shows ago, my cousin and I, like actually, this is my 21-year-old cousin and he was literally like, the the instructions in the recipe said, start low for the double boiler. He maxed out the stove. We split the chocolate. We were just like, chocolate split? What does this even mean? We're like Googling it. It was a disaster. And then he was, he rescued it though. He was like, you will live, damn it. Like this 21 year old, he's like, you will live today. I will not screw up another switch grocery live. It's two lives ago. It was like, I died laughing. I was like, okay. But we rescued the chocolate. So oh, yay. if you didn't know, chocolate split. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, you know. let's come back. <laughs> um, okay, so this has a package of goodies. Let's do the ingredients first. A package of goodies chocolate snack cake. It has a quarter cup, so it's like this one. It is a quarter cup of cream cheese softened. It has uh, a quarter cup of erythritol. It has three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, which I'll get out of the fridge. It has a cup of cocoa polo milk or dark chocolate chips, which I just showed you, and it has good deep sprinkles. So we're making full on chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cake pop. Triple um, chocolate. So I skipped, we have the cake ready um, because we had to. <laughs> so can you, you can still hear me, right, Janet? Yep. Okay, amazing. So we made yep. the, you're gonna have to help us out because when we wrote up the recipe, so Oscar wrote it up, he's like, Janet didn't have measurements. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> like, Jan I'm like, Janet's a YouTuber, Oscar. Oscar was writing up the recipe for a second. He's like, um, there are no measurements. So please was, confirm these measurements. So you have to confirm these with us? <laughs> I was going to say, I did not have measurements in that recipe when I sent it to you because I usually don't measure my stuff, right? Okay, so we'll have but to like edit this up. <laughs> I, I think the quarter of the cup, did, was it a quarter of a cup of cream cheese? Yeah, it's a quarter cup of cream cheese. But we I can put it in and you can let us know, right? Yeah, you'll, you'll know by the consistency. Exactly. That's where that's why I have you here. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do, that's why I have you here. Um, this is the reason you're here. Okay, so let me put you back in the corner. I'm gonna put you okay. back in the corner, and uh -huh. we're <laughs> this is so fun putting you in the corner. Um, okay, we can do this. Hold on. Let me just put some more light. Like I've been sure. bad or it's like I've been bad and you're putting me in the corner. <laughs> Here, I have so much more light now. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I can do this. So this is, you make the chocolate snack cake. It's pretty easy. You add some eggs, uh, one egg, one uh, coconut oil, good instructions in the back, throw it in the oven, you're done, oh, and then we crumbled it up. So um, good. Right? Okay, so now I need another bowl. Do I need another bowl for this? Yep. Okay, so I need another bowl. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna do the two spoonfuls of cream cheese. Okay, I think that's good. Hold on one sec. I'm also stirring the chocolate in the chocolate melt <laughs> situation. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Um, I can do this. Okay, You're doing so, great. so I'm gonna take put the cream cheese in here. How hard can this be? Yeah. Then I'm going to add heavy whipping cream. So I hope it's three tablespoons. I don't know. I don't think no? it's really that much. Okay, it's not that much? No, I would try I'd start with a tablespoon. Okay, I'm starting with a tablespoon. Okay, yeah. And then just see how that works because you don't want it to be really soppy. Okay, got it. See, this is why. Oscar was like, once she confirms what measurements I made up, I will redo the macro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm awful. Okay. So we have that, and then we have to add, oh, powdered sweetener. I don't know if it's a quarter cup of erythritol. That sounds like a lot. I would right? start with about half of that. Okay, so let me do, let me just do a tablespoon and see where this goes. Yeah, see because the, yes, because the cake is pretty sweet as well. I would just, yeah, tr start with that. Okay, I'll do one tablespoon. Yeah. So we're gonna do, 
So we are doing one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and one tablespoon of erythritol. And we're marking it, the recipe up in a crayon. Okay, so perfect. That's, that's our life right now. Okay. That's okay, oh, I think so we That's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, so now you said, mmm, cream cheese. Add two spoons of the cream cheese mixture to the crumbled cake mixture. Combine with your hands or spoon. Yeah. Okay, gradually add more cream cheese mixture until the cake holds together. Okay, yes. let's do this. So one tablespoon cream cheese, two tablespoon cream cheese mixture, and oh, two tablespoons. And then let's start. Yeah. Interesting. This is oh. interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's also what you can do as well with this is use, um, you guys, you, it's out of stock right now, but you have icing, right? Keto-friendly icing? Yeah, we do. We have the good deeds, um, just add water. Yeah. Um, we can that's definitely do that. Oh, I see now why you needed it, because you were saying let's do it that way. Yes, yeah, so that's an option as well if, if you can find some of that. But this works just as good. I'm going to get in with my hands because it's not working. Yeah. Cause I was going to say you want, you want to get it enough so that you can create like a, a ball, like a cake pop, right? Oh my gosh. You guys, this is turning out amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. Is this too dark or you can see? Yeah, no, that I can see it. Okay. Hold on. Let it's me just. You're using a silver um, pan or. Right. Oh, oh, there you yeah. go. That's much better. Okay. I lowered the light. It's like, I'm just like <laughs> better. putting putting all this light up. Okay, so it, this looks really good, actually. No, this yeah. is like now darker. Hold on. Let me just, okay, maybe that way. Uh, okay, so <laughs> this looks, okay, it's still dark, but <laughs> hopefully you guys can, you can see, see it. it, yeah. Okay, so I have it now done. The best cooking tool is your hand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying not to get it dirty, but it is, looks like I have to. <laughs> Okay, so I actually think this looks pretty decent for okay, cake pop. Okay, the rest of it, okay. But then I also like creamier. So what do you think? Add maybe just a tablespoon more of them. That's what I was thinking. That's yeah, exactly what I was thinking. And then it'll hold together really well. You know what? I think I can put it all. So this is about four tablespoons. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't add, like, what was written there. The world. <laughs> Poor Oscar just trying to figure out what, the, what is in J Janet Greta's mind. As she so did this. <laughs> I'm like, Oscar, can you type this up? And then he's just like, he did the cake, uh, the the other thing first. And then he's like, yeah. um, Neha, Janet has no measurements. And I'm like, <laughs> interesting. Of course I don't. So, <laughs> I'm like, hun, she's a YouTuber. And he's like, I am too. I'm like, I know, but. I know. I like it's, the creator. It's so like easy just to make it and after i make a recipe i don't even remember how much i put in there so it you know right. what i mean it just it doesn't help either way unfortunately <laughs> oh well, we God. made it we figured it out Ooh, that looks perfect i know this i this looks really like soft and nice oh my gosh it feels starbucksy you guys check on your chocolate your melting chocolate oh, shoot. my chocolate my chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> do not flip the chocolates today no, <laughs> the chocolate will live today. Like, yes, do not. Exactly. It will live. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm going to take you guys over with me. All right. Let's see. Do this. Let's cut the light on. Let's figure this out. Oh, yeah, it's doing can... good. Okay, it's doing good. Uh, <laughs> one stop. <laughs> I got my spoon again. Okay, you know what? I can. I'm gonna put you guys right over here. Okay. I figured this out last time because this is what we did. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend this up. Oh, there this we is go. My, uh, this is my poster oven. It's so helpful. You're chilling on it. <laughs> it does have a purpose. <laughs> it has a purpose, you guys. Okay, so, hold on. Okay, so now this is the chocolate. Yep. Okay, it's Not melting. It's yep. I was going to say that's doing really good. Is it? Okay, good. I'm not splitting the chocolate because I put it on low. And one yeah. sec, let me just look at the rest. What am I doing next? You'll have to create the the cake pops, the balls. Okay, so hold on one sec. So basically I'm going to, using a medium cookie scoop, scoop which I don't have, I'll use a spoon. Just use your hand. Okay, I'll do a hand. Scoop out one scoop of cake mixture, roll into a ball and place on a plate. 
Repeat until the kidney stream foam swells. Insert each into a lollipop stick. I don't have that. Freeze for 10 minutes. Then, oh, right before they're going to be taken. Oh, I melted the chocolate early, right? That's okay. Yeah, that's that okay. okay. I'm gonna, I'll just put it on low, very low, and see what happens. Yeah, you can probably, for time's sake, you probably don't have to freeze it for the 10 minutes. I think it would be okay. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. I yeah. also have sprinkles, so but then I would put the sprinkles in a bowl, right? Yeah. <gasps> Dip each cake pop into men's melted chocolate. Who am I? I'm not, and then, I don't even use a fork with um when you put the cake pop like in the chocolate, then use a fork to take it out. Okay, so let's go. We'll go Easier. back and, and what I'm gonna do right now. What I'm gonna do right now is take you back and do the balls. Okay. And as I do the balls, I can switch back to asking you my questions. Okay. Again, who am I? I, told you, I don't know. I told you we wouldn't have anything to talk about. Are you kidding me? I want a little dark, right? Maybe it's this. Hold on. Maybe it's that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then I'll put this back there. You are down there. I'll go back to split screen. I don't know if I need to show everybody. Should I show everybody how I do it? I guess so, right? No, you don't have to. You're just throwing the balls. You're just making balls. Okay. <laughs> Make some balls. I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, the show gets the show gets a little raunchy, you guys. So it comes with a raunch warning. Raunch, make sure, raunch warning. Make sure you've turned your stove off. Yes. You don't want to burn your chocolate. Interesting. Because once All the these yes, once the chocolate, there should be like some some bits that aren't melted down yet, like because yeah. it from the warmth of the pan. Yeah. Yeah, I would turn the stove off too. Good idea, okay. Kimberly. <laughs> Thank you. I'll turn the stove off, and now I'm gonna make the balls. Um, and we're going to do a little bit. We are at one one hour, which is okay. fine. We have gone to one hour and 15 minutes before. We're so doing good. We're doing great. We'll be done in 15 minutes. But we want to do, uh, we're going to do some speed round questions. Speed, like speed dating? Perfect. Speed dating. <laughs> wow, make balls. Oh, how big, like, I'm thinking just this much. Yep, yeah, that's <gasps> perfect. These roll so easily. They're good, eh? Oh, my gosh. Like, when... I was so intimidated by you. Your son will love those, by the way. I was so, he's going to eat all of them. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm going to eat all of them. Please. Um, so my holiday philosophy, how do you deal with an unencouraging family or family member during weight loss? We're going to be seeing a lot of holiday friends. Yes. Yeah. So one, once again, it kind of goes back to that you're doing weight loss for you. If you feel in your journey that you aren't able to um, be have any leniency with your diet right now and you're right starting keto, you've just started keto in November and you really can't allow any leniency as far as enjoying that Christmas treat or baking then you just need to stick to your your own self and realize that you're doing it for yourself. And if you do have encouraging, you know, family or friends saying, well, just taste this. One isn't going to hurt you. Let me tell you, one leads to two, leads to everything that's on the tray. <laughs> so that's kind of one, one tip that I have is if you're really stung, grung, gung ho with your keto journey right now, stay the path, you know, and be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Hi, um, how are you? Oh, Caprice, yay. Oh, I'm so glad so many people came that are from my YouTube channel here. That's exciting. It's so exciting. And hey. you can, um, I'm, I'm, my hands are chocolatey now, but you can definitely go on the right and do like a show on screen or something like that. You might be yeah. able to click and show. I, Sometimes I do that. Can I do that though? Maybe, I don't know yeah. Do that. This is, I, I love this uh, app or website though. Thank I don't you. even know how, how I can write in the chat. I was trying to figure that out earlier and I couldn't do it. It's on the right. Can you type yeah. a message at the bottom? I can see the messages, yeah, but I can't. And then click. on the bottom, I think it says type a message, but maybe maybe you can, I don't know. It does, no, I don't, I don't think I can. Sorry, I can read them though. Okay, good, amazing. Thank yeah. you. I can, I'll read them though. Um, my next question, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, it's good when you're enjoying this and I've seen other YouTubers being so serious and strict with sticking to the format. Yeah. 
we well, I don't think we stick to the format. <laughs> we're live, and even if it's a recorded video, if you've seen some on my channel, um, it's it's usually never scripted. My life is never scripted. <laughs> Neither is mine, to be honest. No. All right, next question. I'm ready. Um, the next question is what keto foods help you in a stressful situation when all you want is carbs? This is a really good one. Love, love that question. I feel like that question is really important right now because it's becoming Christmas. Like there's literally five, six days until Christmas. And I feel like people are starting to make their goodies and it's really hard to fight temptation when they are right there. You, and it's nighttime. You're the only one in the kitchen. No one will ever know, but, but you know, and I feel like a lot of keto snacks that have helped me, I'm sure as everybody else is by making the keto bread using the egg white powder, which actually is on switch grocery as well. A lot of the, honestly, a lot of the things that I have is from switch because I do live in Canada and it's really hard for me in Alberta to, to find these products, right. Or even in Canada, but um, I love the jam. I have toast, toast and I'm allergic to all kinds of nuts. So I have a soy nut butter. Mm -hmm. soy nut butter and then i have the the good good jams oh my gosh it is delicious so that is amazing so good at nighttime i feel like a little old lady when i have like my decaf coffee and my toast yeah <laughs> um but definitely i would um if you're a canadian switch has tons that's where i get all of my products from Obviously, if you're in America, you can buy a lot even from your local grocery store as far as like the Quest chips, um, yeah. the Quest protein bars. Protein bars are really good as a treat. Plus, they have a lot of protein in them to fill you up. I love um, that. Yeah, there's a lot of options that you can have and make sure that they are readily available in your house. That you, you know, it's Christmas time. The store is closed. I can't go and get it stock up buy a couple three to have on hand when everybody else is indulging in all of the sugary goodness mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, missing out, right? <laughs> somebody commented switch is the best and they absolutely you are right they are it is so wonderful that we have this option when especially for keto chow i use it probably every other day keto chow hands down i've been using it even before my youtube channel and it has helped me tremendously through my weight loss journey. And even now, you know what I mean? Like, and I can see it in the future. Like in January, Jimmy's going to be in the hospital for seven, eight days. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be taking like my keto snacks and, you know, my keto chow and things on the go because it's going to be a hectic time in my life. And I feel keto chow is, is huge that you can definitely keep on track by indulging in your favorite things like keto chow, quest chips, you know, the good goods jams and all of those other goodies. I love how honest the keto chow founders um, were. Like they came on the show and they literally just said, they said, guys, we want you to eat real food. Mm, yeah. Keto chow, yeah. keto chow is when you don't have time. Exactly. And, and I that's just love that they said that. They were just like, hey, that's, we're parents of six and we just are exhausted and we run a business. <laughs> So yeah, we made this for ourselves. It's um, and it's so good. It tastes so freaking good. <laughs> um, I highly, I have another snack, which I really, really enjoy. It's just, it's expensive right now because berries are expensive. I know they're expensive in the winter, but mm -hmm. berries, cream, and some sweet milk. It just, yeah. especially at night, sometimes I'll come home from a Christmas dinner and I'll be even more hungry because I just ate so much. Yeah. I'll have make myself a decaf coffee, um, you know, or some, we have Bloom holiday drinks, which are like, you know, low sugar eggnog, uh, creamers and stuff like that. So I'll add that. And then I'll yeah. just do berries and cream. Like berries yeah. and cream. And because I wear a freestyle liber, I can see that berries and cream doesn't have an impact on my blood sugar. Um, so awesome. berries and Greek yogurt. Um, it's just like something in a pinch. Yeah. To have. I even like, um, like even whipped cream. Like I usually make my own whipped cream from heavy whipping cream and I just keep it in the fridge. And if you have that with berries too, that's another option. If you just can't tolerate the cream by itself, like as well, I should say. Yeah. I love that. Speed, next speed. 
Um, I think I've given you the do you meal prep and what would be your top tips for that? Actually, tell me, so I'm going to have these two questions when it comes to cooking, which are do you meal prep and your top tips or what what inspires you to get in the kitchen and make recipes? Okay, that's a great question, actually, especially right now, considering I am at home, I've always used the excuse when I quit my job and started working from home. I'm like, yeah. now I don't need to meal prep because I'm always at home. Uh, 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 uh. That, that is not true. I take back my words <laughs> because that never happens. And what I've actually done this week because I am lower carb is I've been buying some of the frozen like smart ones and things of that nature. Um, not that it's for everybody or that I recommend it, but it was just what I needed for this week <laughs> for me. Right. But I do recommend that is probably my number one tip other than clean kettle food is to meal prep meal plan and meal prep will keep you on track every day when you're in a pinch for something when you're working and you come home and you're starving and you can eat like yeah. two sandwiches or two pieces of toast like not the egg white bread and right. it would it saves you in a pinch and it keeps you on track and even now Definitely starting in the new year. The next couple of weeks is crazy, as I'm sure it is for everybody. But I, I need to get, I need to get back into meal prepping, and that's when I feel like I'm definitely in control as well too. Is when I'm with meal prep. Yeah. And then what was the other one? My my top, uh, my top recipe. No, my top. Oh, yeah. okay. So my meal plan and what inspires you to get in the kitchen. So those two <laughs> questions go together because people and you've seen it in the chat some people are just like i'm tired of cooking like robert from keto book came on the show and he was like guys to you know do ground beef and eggs and i kind of just threw it back at him and i'm like robert i'm tired of ground beef and eggs i can't like, I, I can't eat ground <laughs> i've tried and i, I used I to can't. like it, but now i can't i can't so, so i guess this is the thing which is like what inspire how do we inspire ourselves to get yeah. into the kitchen and cook for ourselves? yeah and I think inspiration comes with the results from having meal planning, because for me, I don't, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm not really inspired to be meal planning. <laughs> like it doesn't excite me. I kind of do it out of necessity and I do it because how I feel when it is done. And right. when the next day my meals are in the fridge and I just grab and go like, right. As far as like an inspiration to start doing it, unless it's a new recipe or something that I just want to have in my fridge all day long, like, my keto, I make a keto pumpkin cheesecake. Right. It is, it is so good. And I literally will have that in my fridge. And I like, that's, I'm inspired to make something like that because then I get to have cheesecake in my fridge all week long. Like, look at you. You're going to have fat bombs now and cake pops in your fridge. Uh, it's insane. It's right. Insane. It sounds so good. But let's think about before you started baking those two things. <laughs> so, right? um, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Before I started baking, you weren't inspired to do it. <laughs> I only did it because of this live and because I have to. That's literally why I did it. I would never make. I would, if I can swear, I would effing never make cake pops, and I would literally never fucking make cake pops. Like, who makes cake pops? Why would I make cake pops? Like, I just, I just but. <laughs> oh my god! But, okay, here's the reason. So I committed myself to doing the show because, and, it, and Brian could do it because he would make the cake pops. But for me, mm -hmm. it was, it's something harder for me. Like it doesn't come natural to me. Yeah. So it's like a challenge. Yeah. Not only do I have to do it, I have to do it in front of people. Right? Like, I was, <laughs> who am I? Like I messaged one of my friends who has nothing to do with Switch. And she's just like, what's your show about tonight? And I'm like, I'm making cake pops. She's like, you're making cake pops? Like <laughs> you, the friend that I've had for 20 years? Like you're yeah. making cake pops like good for you know, and then she was like yo can't you just buy them and show that you that was the one you made and I'm like no I can't because they'll know I was like hey they'll know like they will know all of a sudden I'm done and whip out a Starbucks cake pop <laughs> yeah but there's two things I make in a pinch so one thing is bone broth because of everything with gut health I make yeah. the turkey carcass I take it and then I made myself like a bunch of bone broth, which is like right. Oh, I can't take it out. It's like the, the fridge is ramped. That's um, awesome. That's a huge one. And it was very challenging for me, but I'm so tired of depending on Brian to make it. that I was like, I need to make bone broth. I can do this. 
So, yeah. and bones are way cheaper, you guys. Um, like it's just so much cheaper to buy bones. It's so expensive to buy prepared bone broth. It's like 50 bucks for like yeah. three, 500 ml. That's okay. one. The second thing I make is I take keto bricks and I melt them down. So if I know I have no, nothing in the fridge and then I melt them down and I cut them up into like little things. Yeah. And That's it's something where it's just, it's not, it's kind of meal preppy, but yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's 10 minutes. I'm, I take a call and I quickly do it. So it I'm not saves, a meal prepper. Yeah. It saves you I, from buying that chocolate bar that you shouldn't be having sure. in a pinch. Right. You totally. know what I mean? Or just from spending money outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we're ready with cake pops. Wow. The, the effing cake pops that I wouldn't make. <laughs> okay. I need to, I need to know. Okay. If you are in the chat, be honest. Would you ever make cake pops? I need to know. Especially now after you've watched this, because I need to know if this live was worth it. Like, will you make cake pops? I know you'll make the fat bombs because they're easy. But like, would you make cake pops? And, and tell us if you will. Tell us the truth. Janet typed up, the, just to guilt you, Janet typed up this recipe for you without oh. any measurements. She <laughs> used zero measurements. <laughs> Oh we made God. the measurements up in front of you. So tell us if you would do oh it. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to start the cake popping. So, okay. How do I do this? Tell me. I don't know what to do. Okay. Take a fork. Oh, fork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, sweet. Wait, do I have to put them on parchment paper? I love like, this. No, you can just put, don't you have parchment paper on that pan? Oh, I can put it back. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Get it. <laughs> I was like, do I need another pen of parchment paper? And you're like, Neha, it's right there. Oh, and I'm like, okay. where? And you're like, right here. Okay, tell me. No, just put put the balls, <laughs> put the balls in in the melted no, chocolate. Okay. And them around so that they're covered, and then oh. take it out with the fork. Okay, so dip it. Throw it around. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! It's coming apart because of the spoon. I think I should have used a spoon. No. Okay. Use a the spoon then. <laughs> Because I think that's why you said to freeze it. And then I put it in here. Ooh. Definitely in. once you freeze it, they'll become harder. But just for the sake of this video, if anybody does <laughs> actually make them. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, right? Okay. Yes. So let me, good. Wait, wait, wait. See, like, it goes in, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, okay, guys. If you haven't tried Coca Cola melted chocolate, it's so good. Oh, well, i got to order some. This is why? <laughs> I gotta order. Yeah, there Janet, you go. I sent you a gift card for this live, and I don't think you've used it. I don't think I have. <laughs> Literally, I sent you. I was like, "Thank you." Like, please think, have a gift card for doing this for us. And then you're like, "I'm just not gonna do it." So no, you I'm gonna make the cake, cake pop. I was gonna yeah. order right away is after our video chat, and then I totally <laughs> forgot and got sidetracked. And I was thinking when this video started, I was like, "I have a gift card that I need to use." Yay! Right. I'm so, see, I can use it on the Coco Polo because they're back in stock. Perfect. They're, they're back in stock. And the best thing about I've never like we did a melted recipe that Oscar did. Yeah. Um, we actually did chocolate truffles with Coco Polo Ooh. two shows ago, and I'm like, this is not going to be a truffle, Janet. It was a truffle. Really? Yeah. Yep. It tasted like a truffle, and we had to do the double boiler thing, which I had to Google. Yeah. To learn. But, but still, my 21 year old cousin knew. You're doing so good. Right? Let me, um, so go ahead. Let me read some of the comments here. Okay. They said about making the effing cake pops. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly said yes, for sure. Uh, Facebook okay. user said yes. I can't see the name for That's that. Karen. That's Karen. Oh, that's Karen. Hi, Karen. I haven't talked to you in a while, by the way. Um, and then I've ne I'll never, I've never made them and probably never will. And yeah. then Lisa says, I probably <laughs> want your cake pot, but you sure are entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh my God. Corinthians is so honest. I love you. I love like, that. You're just like, I will never do this, but it's She's an entertaining. We're on my Facebook too. So I recognize all, all, most of these names. Uh, I and then love that. Said, I tend to buy fat bombs that I like are keto, but I would make cake pops. LOL. You guys are having so much fun. We <laughs> <laughs> really are. So Lori. I, go, ahead. go ahead. 
No, I was just saying that I would definitely freeze the cake pops because they do come apart a bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that it's definitely helpful, but I just thought time wise. Like this this one. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> <a no. laughs> like, like you guys, this looks gooey, like gooey chocolate. <laughs> so I'm gonna, but yes. I think I will end it now because I might actually rescue and put these in the fridge. Yeah, put the rest in the freezer and then maybe finish it off. Yeah, after that's what I'm thinking. Post one of them for sure. But that, that one's already broken. Taste test of both of them. Uh, let's yeah. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren said I would make these for my husband because I did bring a few goodies cake mixes and it makes four pieces as a cake. As cake pops, maybe they would go further. <laughs> yes. Indigo, yeah, she does have um, a video for the keto trifle. I believe they're keto trifles. I know she makes them religiously every Christmas, Indigo Neely. Um, but I think she made a keto version. I'll have to watch. I never did watch her uh, trifle video. I have to watch that. Hey, Janet, it's Karen. Yeah, hi, Karen. Yeah, it is Karen. Mm. I'm glad well, it's working on this book. Well, Lori, I, de I definitely, so this is how we do the goodies, which we I realized because the cake's like I find the cakes are, because it's just I eat more. So I'm like the cake is small. Um, we do the, the little like muffin cups. Mm -hmm. And then they're just like cute. They like pop out and stuff. You know what I made with the good beans um, chocolate cake that was, I was hooked was I made black forest cake. <gasps> I did. I found my you. I'm telling you, it was the best. The best black forest cake, low carb, you know, hands down that I've ever had. It was so great. Right? Guys, we did it. Yay. Like, how did we do this? Who am Yay. I? Yay. I'm so okay, proud of you. We need to take a photo. So and I'm going to do like a smiling photo. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you could do it. Right? So photo because you're holding that? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a closer on. Wait, cake, cake pop. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Amazing. We did it. So cute. We did it. I'm going to put the, okay, so I'm going to try this. So first I'm going to pop these out. This is what I love these little ice cube trays because you just pop it out mm -hmm. and then it's back. Ooh, perfect. It's, it's like they have the silicone bottom. Nice. Taste test. Honest opinion. So good. Look at everybody's so proud of you. Karen says Thank you did. You. Job. Thank you so much. <laughs> you made the effing cake pops. <laughs> That's it. I'm changing the title of that recipe to keto effing cake pops. <laughs> I just love the very honest people in this live who are like, I will never make this. I think that's great. I think this live was was so much fun. Oh my gosh. Right? I like I'm <laughs> do it again. I did it. Um, I'm gonna try a cake pop. Yes. I'm gonna try the broken one because why not? But I'll try it like this. Yeah, because I, I think they'll taste better in the freezer for a little bit for them to like solidify a little bit and come together. What's the texture like? Wow. Choc I bet she is pretty darn chocolatey. So tri triple chocolate. Yeah. Um, here's what I would say. I don't even think you need to add the erythritol. Oh yeah. The goodies cake is really sweet. Yeah. But this is actually because the cake pops at Starbucks are very sweet. Like they're yeah. like very, very sweet. And this is like a sweet cake pop. And I yeah. literally think on a stick, like it's I can't believe they don't have sugar. Like, this is insane. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's insane to me. Like, literally insane. Um, cake, somebody said, cake pops, yuck. Um, <laughs> we're going to block you from the live. Sorry. No. <laughs> no, we're kidding, John. I'm like, if you just joined, we're making cake pops. These are no sugar added cake pops. And They're good. You can't They're say good. cake pops, yuck, because we just dedicated an hour and 23 minutes and 59 seconds to making them. So. <laughs> And you did a great job. So we we just want a thumbs up, but I'll put your little thing up. Cake pop yuck. 
um, well, Janet, thank you so much. You're um, welcome. I'd love to end uh, with one question, which is uh, the new year and 2023 and 2020. So my next episode for next week is about um, 2023 goals and for the business, which I'm going to be very honest about, talk about on the show and for my personal life. Mm -hmm. um, you created a vision board for 2023. So first question, do you believe in New Year's resolution? Please say yes, because you're driving the show <laughs> or goals. And the second question is if you can talk about your vision board exercise for 2022, because I know a lot of people are going to be thinking about that over the next few days. And that's my last question. Yeah. So I did create a vision board for 2022. And I had on my vision board, I had to become a full time YouTuber. I had to quit my job and to become debt free and to travel. I had all of these things on my vision board that I had made. And it's literally right in front of my desk. And I accomplished all of them except for the travel, which was kind of understandable. I think I kind of jumped the gun a little bit with that. <laughs> um, but I feel that it's so important to set goals instead of resolutions. Resolutions are great too, but I feel goals kind of, you know, is a long term throughout the year in order to set towards instead of doing it for the first week and being like, oh, I'm done with it. Right. And yeah. I haven't really thought about the goal for 2023 yet. I do want to do another vision board um, like I did up. And I think I right now, a little insider here, but right now I feel that 2023 is going to be more about getting in shape, getting physically fit. Because one thing that I realized when I'm at home your muscles suffer. Your muscles suffer by being at home because you're not walking, you're not active, you're not doing anything. You're, you know, you're sitting at your, your desk working or just going up and down the stairs, maybe getting 2000 steps a day. Like it's, it's ridiculous, right? So I, I really want to make the conscious effort to become physically fit and to get in shape, whether that's weight loss or no weight loss, that's not going to be on my vision board for next year. And I really want to concentrate on how I feel and overall health and just, just being healthy. I think that's, you know, for me and my family. Right. And I feel like right now that's kind of the point where I'm at, of course, you know, the business side of things and my small business, you know, I hope to those continue to grow and flourish. And uh, that's kind of like my new year's goal. How about oh, you? Thank you. Well, that's for next week. Cause I haven't decided. <laughs> Wow. Um, where can we all find you? Where do you live? Where can we find you? How can we follow your work? Um, so I have a YouTube channel and the YouTube channel is called Janet Greta. And I also am on Instagram, which is Janet Greta 2020. And also on Facebook, which is Janet Greta. And I think I'm on TikTok too. I haven't posted on there you for do. a while. You are on TikTok. I love <laughs> I love I know, that you're on TikTok. Yeah, Janet Greta on TikTok. I think it's Janet Greta on TikTok as well, too. Yeah. Well, I love that. Thank you. Um, Lori Olson says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy yeah. holidays. Stay safe and enjoy. And then do it, girl. You only live once <laughs> from China. Um, thanks, ladies. This was fun. Merry Christmas, everyone. And then I'm going to work on my goals and such for 2023 after Christmas. So for me, as my birthday is in January, my new year doesn't start till then. Um, oh, and Jonas says, working in the patch, I average over 20,000 steps. Oh, that's, that's crazy. amazing. That's crazy. Um, well, we just want to wish all of you just a really, really great, week if you celebrate christmas merry christmas happy holidays um and just i hope you can just take the time to rest r and r um and we want to just thank janet janet thank you for coming on the show Aww. this is just so wonderful i made f and cake pop it was so much fun. <laughs> so fun i hope we can do it again in the new year that's going to be on my on my vision board well Thank you. That just touched my heart. All right. We can't, it can't get any, any better than that. So bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 bye.